Thanks, Sebastian. Thanks, everybody. I think there's been a mistake. I asked for a seat in the no smoking section, but... It's really great to be here tonight. I wasn't sure I was going to make it because this morning I fell off of a 40-foot ladder. Lucky for me, I was only on the first step. I really did have a tough morning this morning. I put on a shirt, the button fell off. I went to brush my teeth, the top of the toothbrush broke off. I picked up my briefcase, the handle came off. I'm afraid to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I got a joke for you. What grade are you in? When I was in the fifth grade, they asked me, Patrick, tell me the names of five animals that live in the North Pole. I said, that's easy. Three polar bears and two seals. <laughs> you can tell that one to your friends, okay? So I left work early one day, and I realized I'd forgotten my wife's birthday and a gift, which is unforgivable. I'm sorry, it wasn't my wife, it was my daughter, right? It wasn't you. So I ran out of the toy store and I said to the clerk, how much are those Barbie dolls in the window? She gives me a big sigh and she goes, sir, the swimming Barbie dolls, 1995, the gymnastic Barbie dolls, 1995, the astronaut Barbie dolls, 1995, the model Barbie dolls, 1995, and the divorce Barbie dolls, 199.95. <laughs> I said, what? Why is that one so much more? This time she gives me a big sigh with a big eye roll and she goes, Sir, all the other ones come with one outfit. Divorce Barbie doll comes with Ken's car, Ken's house, Ken's boat, <laughs> Ken's computer, and one of Ken's best friends. Anybody in here from Minnesota? No? I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people from Sweden come over to Minnesota to work. Sven and Ole get a job in a garment factory and they're both laid off at the same time. So they go down to see how much money are we going to get for unemployment. So the clerk says to Sven, Sven, what was your job classification? He goes, I was the panty stitcher. I sewed the elastic in the women's panties. The guy looks up on his list, panty stitcher, panty stitcher. Panty stitcher, that's unskilled labor. You get $100 a week. He's happy. You look at Oli. Oli, what was your job classification? He goes, diesel fitter. Guy goes, diesel fitter, diesel fitter. Oh, that's skill labor. You get 200 a week. Sven goes crazy. What do you mean? He gets 200 and I only get 100. The guy goes, well, panty stitcher, unskilled labor, diesel fitter, skill labor. Sven goes, what skill? I sold the elastic and the panties. He puts them over his head and says, yeah, diesel fitter. A friend of mine, he's in his early 70s, in fact, he just passed 70, he starts dating this uh, really good-looking lady in her 30s. He wants to impress her, so he takes her over to the jewelry store on a Saturday morning. He goes, I'd like a nice diamond for my girlfriend here. The guy brings out a diamond. He goes, sir, this one's $1,500. She goes, I like it. He goes, no, that's not good enough for you. Show me something better. The guy brings out another diamond. He goes, sir, this one's $8,000. She goes, oh, I really like it. He goes, no, no, nothing but the best for you. Bring me the best you got. This guy brings out a three-carat flawless diamond. He goes, sir, this one is $30,000. She almost swoons when he says, I'll take it. He writes out a check for $30,000, gives it to the clerk. He goes, Monday morning, you go down and cash this check. I'll pick up the ring on Monday afternoon. The guy says, great. Monday morning, he calls him. He says, sir, I tried to cash that check at the bank. You have no money in the bank. The guy says, I know that, but I had a hell of a weekend. <laughs> guy, guy walks into a store, and he says to the clerk, uh, where can I find the Polish sausage? The kid says, you're Polish, aren't you? He goes, I'm a little fronted. He says, if I asked for a German bratwurst, would you say I was German? If I asked for kosher hot dogs, would you say, ask me if I was Jewish? If I asked for Italian sausage, would you say, are you Italian? The kid says, probably not. He says, well, why you ask me if I'm 
Polish just because I asked for Polish sausage. She says, sir, it's because you're an Ace Hardware. <laughs> so child psychologist is doing group therapy with four mothers and their kid. Could you put your ears over, your hands over his ears? That's right. Thank you. So doing group therapy with four mothers and their kid, and finally he stops and he stands up and he goes, you know, you're all obsessive compulsive. You're obsessed with food, you named your daughter Candy. You're obsessed with money, you named your daughter Penny. You're obsessed with alcohol, you named your daughter Brandy. At that point, the fourth mother reaches out, takes her little boy's hand and says, come on, Dick, we're out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Where's, where's uh, Sebastian? Right here, what was that line you said? Anybody from New York? Anybody from New York in here? <laughs> and you're going to admit it? Well, anyway, I'm convinced, folks, that anything can happen in a New York City taxi cab. Let me give you an example. This nun gets in a taxi cab in New York. The driver takes off. And he's a good-looking guy, and he keeps staring at her. Finally, she goes, excuse me, my son. Why do you keep staring at me? He said, sister, I, I want to ask you something, but I, I don't want to embarrass you. She goes, look, I've been a nun for so long, I've heard it all. You can tell me anything you want. He goes, all right. He goes, oh, I always had this fantasy, I wanted to kiss a nun. She thinks for a minute, and she goes, well, maybe we could do something about that, but you'd have to be Catholic, and you'd have to be single. He gets all excited. I am Catholic, I am single. She goes, well, pull down that alley over there. He pulls down the alley. She lays a kiss on him that would make a streetwalker blush. They get done with that. He starts driving down the road. He's crying. She goes, my son, why are you crying? He said, sister, I lied to you. I'm Jewish and I'm married. <laughs> the nun says, that's OK. I'm on my way to a costume party, and my name is Kevin. Hey, I've had a lot of fun here tonight. I hope I brought a little laughter into your lives. Thank you so much.